Good afternoon, Stephen from the Hope Free Lifestyle. I'm going to answer a question I've been asked many times. And as we all know, I'm not a doctor, but I've got some practical experience of this subject. And the question is, how long does it take your liver to repair after you quit alcohol? Well, it's a bit like saying, how long is a piece of string, really? It depends on many factors, what you've been drinking, how long you've been drinking for, whether you're male or female, whether you've smoked, your general health, your health when you're younger, a lot of these factors. But basically, if you're worried about your liver, then see a doctor. That's the first thing to do. Now, I was seriously ill with, with issues regarding alcohol and it probably took me about a year and a half two years to get my liver function back to normal and actually pretty good so basically what i did was obviously the first thing is to quit alcohol you must stop drinking i'll say that a thousand times until the day i'm not here because that's the only thing that's going to help you in in the main other things you can do or look after your diet you must have good nutrition try to stay clear of anything that's too sweet it's got too much sugar obviously anything processed not good you need to be looking at a clean diet what i mean by that is plenty of salads the usual thing i think we've all heard it before balanced diet plenty of fruit and veg some protein not too much of anything in particular keep away from chocolate sweets crisps cakes all that sort of thing Generally, just look after yourself. Plenty of water. Hydrate yourself all the time. Exercise is a big thing as well. So that's the main thing you've got to do. You'll start to feel better as soon as you start to eat properly. And if you can get some exercise coupled in with that, it's even better, isn't it? Now, with women, their livers aren't as big, aren't as robust. So women tend to get liver damage quicker and more serious than men. So if there's any girls, women out there who are worried about these, these sort of things, then go and see a doctor, get a full blood test done. You see, when you're drinking too much, a lot of the, a lot of the, um, the symptoms that you get don't appear until it's more or less too late until the damage is done. So you need to be getting checked regularly. As I mentioned before, I used to get um, well-man checks, but they didn't do, obviously didn't check everything off because I ended up in a mess. So you've got to push your doctors, make sure they check everything, make sure you, you cut out the alcohol. It will take a bit of time for it to repair, but it's one of the only organs, if it's the only organ that will repair. If you've just got fatty liver disease, early stages of damage, then that will generally repair pretty quickly. Then you move on to fibrosis and then cirrhosis, that's slightly different, where the damage is more permanent. But even with cirrhosis, then you, that can be managed, as long as you keep your diet good, Look after yourself if you haven't smoked that sort of thing <clears throat> basically just look after yourself and, and you know behave yourself that's one of the major things you've got to do just keep away from the drink have yourself a little bit of water instead of a drink don't well i don't drink any sugary drinks I don't drink anything like coke or fanta or any of these sort of things uh because you don't know what's in them all you've got to do is put a two pence piece into a glass pour some pepsi or coke or something like the reason those brand names but you know what i'm saying you know, strip the uh, <coughs> strip it down to the bare metal just about, wouldn't it? So God knows what's in those sort of drinks. Try and have diluted drinks. What I have been doing recently is non-alcoholic drinks. And the one that I use quite a lot is Guinness because it's very low calorie. So diet, exercise, no alcohol. That's that's the key because there is no part of the body that's untouched alcohol it'll damage lots of things not just the liver everyone assumes that it'll always attack the liver it attacks the pancreas as well it causes kidney problems a lot of people who drink too much have very high blood pressure and once the blood pressure goes up the only thing that will pull that down is again cut the alcohol and also good diet exercise that sort of thing the one of the things i found when i was in the hospital environment for quite a while I didn't realise prior to that, a lot of people relapse. They'll start off by having a few days off, few weeks off, few months off the drink. And then they'll, they'll suddenly think, oh, well, I feel a bit better now. My body's fully recovered. But when you relapse again, 
then you get more complications. It's even more complex to deal with the symptoms and any damage that's, that's been done, both mentally and physically. You, 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 you're worse off because you have these regrets and you start to feel down that you've started to drink again. Uh, your body works in unison, doesn't feel too clever, you get tired, you drink more to self-medicate, all this sort of thing. It's really got to have a positive attitude to all of this. There's lots of information on the internet about it. There are some verified sites, but it'll all tell you the same thing. If you've been drinking a long time, then you must quit alcohol. It's not easy. Uh, I've been talking about a few of these sort of <laughs> quit quick um, systems. I'm not sure if they work. If that was the case, they wouldn't have lots of consultants in hospitals trying to get people to quit if you could do it within 48 hours by paying a fee. I don't believe in all that. I think there's a lot more to it. I think the body's complex, as you all know. The brain's complex. And once it gets a hold of you, this addiction, then it's very difficult to shake off. As you know, that's where thousands of people die every year. In the UK, and three million people die every year worldwide because of alcohol-related disease, accidents, and all that sort of thing. And I think you'd be hard-pushed to think in your mind if any family hasn't been touched by alcohol, whether it's drink drive or some sort of assault or some criminal activity or indeed alcoholism, source of the liver, kidney problems, pancreatitis, all these things. And you can obviously, you can also exacerbate cancers. There's so many bad things alcohol does. And to me, there's no benefits. A lot of people will argue that, you know, drinking red wine might, might help you a little bit and de-stress you. But as far as I'm concerned, if you drink, a fair amount, then you're going to get damaged in, 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 in every way, really. <clears throat> but you look at how much you're drinking, keep a journal, sort of thing. As I say, see a doctor, that's the main thing, and get some tests and insist on, on something being done because the dog's very busy and life's very busy nowadays, isn't it? But you've got to look after yourself. You, if you don't look after yourself, you can't look after anybody else. That's the main thing, isn't it? But I think it's so socially acceptable. Now that people feel pressurised and having a drink, and it's it's everywhere, isn't it? And when you when you stop, you st even today you're still looked upon as a little bit of an outsider. Oh, you don't drink, you're going to be a bit boring. You have a quiet night, you're going to be boring. Well, actually, you come out the other side much better. You'll have money in your pocket the next day. You'll feel better. You won't have any hangovers, any regrets. Hopefully, you won't make any mistakes. So, in answer to the question. How long does it take your liver to repair after you quit? It depends. The quicker you do what I've said, you drink more water, you exercise, you cut off the alcohol, you start to eat fresh fruit, vegetables, salads, fish, if you can get a decent fish. Always buy the best food you can afford because it's fuel for your body, isn't it? If you have any comments, please drop me a line. If you want to discuss anything nutrition-wise, I'm happy to do that. If you are getting any benefit from the channel then please subscribe and share the videos and I'll speak to you all very soon.